I am Dr. Cindy Welch, a clinical assistant professor in the School of Information Sciences in the College of Communication and Information. The class I'd like to talk to you about today is the INSC 573 Programming for Children and Young Adults. It's not programming in the sense of computer programming, but in the sense of youth development and different kinds of literacies. It addresses recreational and educational interests of youth between birth and 18. It's an online course, completely online, using Blackboard Collaborate and Blackboard Learn, and it is what we call a flipped class. I get the lecture material, the thought stuff outside of class, so when they come in, we apply what they're learning. We can test things, we can evaluate. It's much more interactive and effective in terms of reinforcing the principles I want them to know. Our students are pursuing careers in everything from traditional librarianship up to uh, working with Google on the information side of things, information architecture, um, business intelligence, and those kinds of things. My classes have to do with youth services in public and school libraries, and my students are far flung. They're all over the United States. Most of them are in Tennessee, but we see a little of everybody. And I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I live in Medivy, Virginia. I live over in the Memphis, Tennessee area. I currently live in Franklin, Tennessee. I am in Chattanooga. I am currently located in the Auburn, Alabama area. I am in Knoxville. I live here in Knoxville, and I'm in Knoxville. In this class, one of the assignments is a book trailer, where students take a book talk, a mini commercial for books, and make it electronic. The reason we do this is because librarians today are about more than books. There's a lot of technology in working with youth. So as I prepare my students, I want them to be able to hit the ground running in their professional capacities. That means they have to know their target audiences, and that includes knowing the things that are important to them, like the different kinds of technologies available. We want to make sure our students are fearless. Once the videos are created, the students can either upload them to our specialized iTunes U class section or they can file them on YouTube. One of the concerns about creating these electronic trailers is being aware of copyright restrictions related to image and music. First, you have to know what your situation is and what copyright would apply. The best place to find that out is to go to Hodges Library and use the variety of resources that we already have here in the form of librarians. A second option for locating material is to go online and investigate Creative Commons licenses. Or you can also use Google Search and set the search parameters such that you'll only retrieve materials that are free to use or have limited restrictions. One of the informal assessment tools that I use with this assignment is an end-of-term film festival where the students bring their book trailers to class, we view them as a group, we, cr we critique them as a group, and then hopefully they'll take those suggestions and use them when they get out into the field. Another assignment in this class that lets me incorporate technology is what I call tech tools. The point of these assignments is to help students become more comfortable with technology and they're going to have to be self-sufficient in many ways when they get into their schools and public libraries. But you don't have to be alone to be self-sufficient and there are great resources for students on campus. OIT, the studio in Hodges are wonderful places that students can go. They can be resources for each other as well. For people who want to try similar sorts of things, there's a lot of support on campus. So again, you don't have to worry about being by yourself. OIT and the Teaching and Learning Center are both wonderful resources. I have an idea or something I want to try, and OIT and TLC will help me make it happen. On the practical side, I would say try these assignments yourself first so you can anticipate what student questions may be. Lastly, I would say be bold and have fun with these kinds of things. I love teaching. I've taught in face-to-face -face classrooms and now I teach online because of the nature of my program. But being online can be as exciting and engaging and innovative as being in a face-to-face -face situation. You just have to be bold, you have to be brave, and you have to take risks.